and we are live what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stream i am your host mikey shines you can just call me mike or michao or michael whatever you want uh, i am the community manager for sim direct and um yeah guys so today we're gonna be uh doing uh a little bit of a stream for you guys Hope you guys had a fantastic fantastic weekend it is monday everyone and uh, yeah let me know how your weekend went what did you guys do it's starting to get cold outside and the weather outside is frightful don't get me wrong uh any joey today no joey today um no joey today unfortunately because uh, he's a busy man joey is a busy man so he doesn't have time for shenanigans like live streams or something like that right uh, it's cold a bit in Morocco. Yeah, man. Uh, it's um, it's really starting. Like the weather is starting to be a pain in the ass for sure. Uh, so uh, let me know where you guys are from. Let me know where you guys are from. How's how's everything by you guys? Um, uh, yeah, where I'm from Poland right now. Where I'm, I'm streaming from Poland. It's about f nine degrees outside. It's like freaking Christmas time. It's like December insane britain morocco benji yeah my dog is here you guys want to see my dog you guys want to hey, you guys like dogs right any dog people in the chat who's a dog person i'm a dog person hmm? Hmm? me all right come here benji there he is there's there's the boy there's the boy right there oh yeah Dogs are better than cats? Yeah, for sure. I mean, to each their own, right? To each their own, right? But, I mean, no one in the world loves you as much as a freaking dog does. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Oh, he wants, to, he wants to leave the living room right now, so just give me a second. All right, yeah, I let him go. There he is. There's trains, man. There's there's the man, the myth, the legend. There he is. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, make sure to hit that follow button, guys. We are on a fresh Twitch channel. This is the first stream that we are having on this Twitch channel. So if you're new here, I would really, really, uh, really appreciate the follow, guys. Uh, it would really mean a lot. We're going to be streaming more often every Monday at the same time, same place. Okay, so show some love. I also want to see if my follower notifications are working. So that'd be nice if, if we could test it out live on stream. Uh, we are also live on Steam, I believe so. Uh, let me just double check here. Uh, yes, we are live on Steam as well. There, the, the, the delay on Steam is it's like a little bit more than it is on Twitch, but it's fine nonetheless. So... Uh, so yeah, guys, what are we going to be doing today? We're going to be talking about uh, some patch notes that we have been uh, rolling out every Friday. Every Friday, good evening, what up, Chazie, how you doing? Um, we have been rolling out patches for Train Life every Friday, hot fixing stuff, taking community feedback, and uh, just working hard, man. Uh, game development is hard. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but it's a it's a very satisfying challenge, that is for sure. And with the help of you guys, the community, uh, we can make an amazing uh, and amazing uh, train game. Uh, have I been Ukitsa? Yes, that was me, Sinbev. That was me. Yes, 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 that was me. Uh, I won't say I'm Joey's uh, proud mom, but I'm Joey's super proud mom. Oh, welcome, Joey's mom. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, Joey is a fantastic co-worker, and uh, he's, uh, he's, also, he's also a great friend. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really honored to work with him. So uh, that's really awesome. You got a good son, Mrs. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say your last name, but mine's worse, actually. Uh, so because I, I got a polish last name uh so uh yeah a little bit of a disclaimer guys a little bit of a disclaimer i woke up today i woke up today with a little bit of a sore throat and um i was feeling a little bit sick today i'm not gonna lie it's a good thing i'm streaming because it would be weird if you guys were like next to me right and i was like a little and i was feeling a little ill but um yeah i'm, I'm drinking some hot tea with honey and lemons so 
Uh, you sound fine. Okay, thank you. What about Ollie from Nakon? I heard he was an amazing guy. <laughs> Yes, Ollie is also an amazing guy. I love you, Ollie. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Guys, we have our publisher in the chat, Nakon. Uh, give a great round of applause for helping deliver the game, uh, the early access game. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, big pog for the Nakon guys over there. You guys are great. Um, yeah, I need to learn some French so I can properly communicate uh, with the father language. Oh. <laughs> uh so yeah in any case guys um like i mentioned we're gonna be talking about some patch notes today and uh, we're gonna see what changed uh if you guys have any questions i will try my best i will try my best to answer them um obviously i'm the community manager right i do have insights about the game but when it comes to like some technical stuff i'm not gonna lie like it's a little bit above my pay grade so um uh, i will try my best if you guys have any questions at all let me know uh we will have some people uh from this train life community uh from the train life team as well the sim direct and the nakon team and uh, we're gonna be taking uh we're gonna be kicking ass and taking names that's what i'm talking about right colorado here and boston terrier nice i have a welsh terrier very nice terriers are a very uh, awesome breed of dog but they could be a little stubborn not gonna lie so uh sinbar unfortunately i mean i wish i could speak polish but i mean i could speak polish but we're trying to to appease the masses here more or less right so man i um i need another coffee cup dude because like this coffee cup says mama needs some coffee and i am definitely not a mama um it's honestly i i'm all the only reason why i'm drinking out of it is because it's the biggest coffee cup that i have in my house and um yeah and i and i need a lot of liquids a lot of them uh, i have one of my own and i'm currently babysitting another for a week great fun yeah awesome man awesome all right guys um where are you from mike i am well, I was originally born in Poland. I was originally born in Poland. And um, I moved back. I, and I moved to America. Uh, well, like back in the early 90s, my mom, she won like a, a, the green card lottery per se. And uh, we moved to America and have been living in Chicago for about 25 years. So literally all of my life. And um and then I moved back to Poland, to my home city where I was born. And um, and yeah, and I've been living here for the last five years. I met a wonderful woman. We have a wonderful baby. She's four years old in October. It's gonna be great. And um, we're gonna plan a really awesome birthday party for, uh, for her. So so yeah, that's my life story in a, in a nutshell. If you wanna know more, follow us on Twitter, join Discord, and uh, we'll talk some more for sure. All right, guys, so uh, enough of my jibber jabber. Uh, nice. We are by Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. So we're practically neighbors at this point. We are practically neighbors. Um, although I'm not going to lie, I've never been friends with a cheese head before. Okay. And uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, without without further ado, uh, let's get into what we got to show here. So now i'm not gonna talk about like literally every single thing that we changed in the game because we would be sitting here for hours on end okay uh, your loss i know well now i have you right now i have joey's mom as my friend so i can officially say i am friends with cheesehead so uh right so uh, let's get into it um i think this is i don't know I, I, this probably is not a patch no here let me see really quick no, this is not. No, this is just an announcement. I think Ali, Ali. Hey, Ali, if you're watching, we need to re reorder, uh, renumerate these um, these patch notes, okay? Um, <laughs> so, because I think I I technically think that it starts at two, okay? So I technically think it starts at two. But so without further ado, uh, let's let's get into it. This is the first. I'm pretty sure this is the first patch that we implemented, the first week of the game launching in early access. So um. So let's check it out. Uh, it's a short one. It's a short one compared to the other ones, that's for sure. 
Uh, so what do we got? We got disabling tree on track, broken down locomotive events temporarily, increased penalty activation time and cooldown, and set some bad events to zero. I know that this was uh, what's a cheese head. I'm an American. I'm America's northern neighbor, but that term is a cheese head. Are basically people that live in Wisconsin. Uh, just so now you know. Uh, <laughs> I'll look at it tomorrow. I was not chosen for my math skills. Okay, it's okay. I'm really bad at math either, uh, as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, when the game launched, there was like so many issues with like uh, random, random things spawning on the tracks, like trees and light posts, and and the AI trains. They were um, causing some issues, but we'll we'll probably get to that in a minute. Uh, so yeah, the first patch we disabled them, and I'm pretty sure that uh, they're still disabled. And um, I'm pretty happy about this change, this uh, increased penalty activation time. Uh, well, I'm pretty happy about this one because um, when I first played Train Life, I literally went bankrupt in like 30 minutes. I was just beelining it to my destination, and um, <laughs> like I was getting like charged like five thousand, six thousand, ten thousand, and eventually I went bankrupt. So that was not good. Um, any plans for vr i don't think at this time we don't have any plans for vr uh but we're not saying no but at the same time we're not saying yes right uh bankrupt any percent yeah dude <laughs> speed run um so yeah uh just some uh, normal fixes here we got one track that was blocked on nuremberg uh nuremberg main and uh the fine for access accessing the station without permission received when passing a specific spot of the cologne warehouse bypass track so that was fixed so that was the first patch uh that we released and um and yeah we also have the roadmap guys make sure to follow train life on twitter as well uh we have the roadmap there and uh, i think it's gonna be updated but don't quote me on that so we'll see so let's do um let's do let's go to the third one now remember guys we are we're uh releasing patches every friday at this rate right so i think we're going to be doing it every friday until the end of early access which as it said on steam um early access is probably gonna last around six to ten months i know that that was a, a pretty um a popular question that was asked by you guys so it's around six to ten months okay so disabling moving train event uh until ai trains are fixed yeah i think at this point we, we realize that the ai trains they need to be uh disabled um so they are still disabled up until this point but soon soon uh they will be back online so i uh, and the reason why we disabled them was because they were just they were just being a, a straight up headache uh for the players so uh, so yeah, we just disabled them and just got rid of that issue and we're gonna bring them back soon uh, So let's see bug fixes overlapping text and driver details high headlight mode credits contents are hard to read Okay, I uh, didn't know that one uh, Let's see uh, game design lowered the effect of gravity by 25% I know that was a major issue at the beginning uh, Double the increased slippage protection, okay uh, remove the penalty for track occupancy temporarily remove the passenger mode penalty multiplier and tutorial for removing passengers from the tracks yeah um that was pretty funny <laughs> yeah some uh, there was people um sending screenshots of just like literally passengers that like stuck inside of the tracks and people were just like running them over i mean teach their own right but that's not how train works that's not how trains work guys right um and some sound uh some sound fixes tweak diesel engine sound and uh some we fix some volume sliders as well uh all right let's go to number four here uh okay so difficulty settings we added some difficulty settings so locomotive damage multiplier and cargo mode fine multiplier okay awesome uh, soft let's see what we fixed uh, new wagons can automatically be coupled over old manually decoupled wagons okay uh, in tutorial 2 it is possible to block the object too if you crash the train into the service center all right level design uh, blocking signals are placed too low uh, to in the ground near Mannheim forest and let's see what else we got here I see that there was a lot of fixes done to the tutorial which is good right 
Uh, will you be able to see your drivers on the tracks or is it uh, like on ETS2 where you can only see them on the driver's map? That is a good question and I don't want to give you the wrong answer. So I will definitely uh, answer that question uh, on the Discord or unless, uh, Ali, if you're still here from Nacon, uh, maybe you can answer that question or get someone to answer that question because I, I do see that that is a repeated question. And uh, yeah, I would like to see it answered as well. So, uh, all right, what do we got here? Localization. Well, this is a fat, this is a thick patch, ladies and gentlemen. This is a thick boy patch for sure. Um, a floating grass, misplaced roads. Uh, what question was for me? Um, will we be able to see the drivers on the tracks or is it like uh, in ETS2 where you can only see them on the driver's map? Do you have the answer to that, uh, Ali? Okay. I'm going to turn myself on because I think I'm pretty loud. All right. I think I should be good now. Um, ooh, got a follow. Thank you for the follow. Mich X666. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Joey, our man Joey would be, would be definitely in the know about that one, so... Uh, unfortunately, I think he's busy. Mama Joey, maybe you should call your son and ask him this question <laughs> and let him know. <laughs> uh, let's see. The driver skills tab uh, and the UI is not sized well for the Russian language. Russian language is, is, is probably a thick boy as well. Hi, will it be possible to switch uh, to passenger view anytime soon in the future? Thank you for the follow. Happy mute noises. Mute noises. Uh, will it be possible to switch to passenger view anytime in the future? I'm not sure, but it does sound like a good idea. Like you, like you mean like, like as your character, as you're carrying or, or transporting passengers, you could like switch the camera to just see them sitting in in the wagon. Is that what you mean? Because that actually sounds like a pretty cool feature. Uh, like a nice cinematic feature, right? Um, yeah, like enjoying the view as a passenger. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty dope idea. Uh, I'll definitely have to suggest that. So uh, I'll pass it on. Uh, but you probably talk to him more frequently. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh <laughs> Uh, so let's let's see some known issues. There was a lot of known issues that were um, fixed in this patch. So uh, what do we got? P PZK and UIF locomotive is partially damaged when leaving the service center. This is something that I did uh, see a lot of people having problems on. Like they were just loading in to the game. And as they left the service center, their train was getting damaged. So good thing that was fixed. Also, th I remember there was an issue where people... Um, when they were loading in the game and their train like flipped the other way even without like using the um the service center right so uh i'm, I'm pretty sure that's fixed as well uh signs and signals are rendered uh, to late on lower presets causes them to appear just before player uh delivered and processed goods and processing points are not retained after loading save data uh, manually a uh, manual delivery for contracts delivery does not count for city progression crossing loop or junction may remain blocked after ai train leaves now remember guys um i know that there is a lot of people a lot of people uh we did address this issue in a blog post that we had uh, a developer blog uh, before the uh the launch of the game uh but the, we, we we know that the signaling system uh, can be frustrating and trust me guys we are uh we are aware we are aware that the signaling system is not perfect and it's one of our top priorities right now to restructure that entire system and to make it even better uh because right now we you know we we understand that it could be a pain in the butt it could be a pain in the butt so what does the l underscore parts mean i have no idea <laughs> I'm not gonna lie i have no idea uh so yeah i mean uh, maybe that could uh, be something i mean i don't think the average player would even know what that means um incorrectly placed blocking signal in cologne grain mill works improperly l underscore 51 maybe those are coordinates i would guess I, w I would take my guess that these are probably the coordinates so of said blocking signal that's what i would think right um 
let's see oh localization several strings are not translated into uh german russian french languages uh in the ai driver info screen and might overrun the frames okay yeah that's another thing uh we do there was a a lot of issues with the um with the language uh with like the uh the, the translations uh in the game and um you know that also takes some time because we understand that like you know it could be very difficult to like translate all it's like the game into like several different languages right especially when you have like so, like such a small team right so we are definitely aware of that so all of you grammar nazis don't get your panties in a bunch all right we got it we got it okay all right so uh yeah and uh guys if you want to check out the patch notes yourself i'll send you guys the link so feel free to do that uh you can follow along with me if you want and uh yeah all right so we got patch note five this is the one before this, this was done on september 15th which was on wednesday okay so this was a, a hot fix i think so we got a uh, fix delivered and processed goods and processing points are not retained after loading save data uh, loose wagon quantities are uh, on stations do not persist after loading save data. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about before, right? Like when when you load, like people were like losing their wagons and people were just like losing their contracts and their jobs and <laughs> such a pain in the ass. But I'm uh, I'm happy that we fixed it. So, oh, this is the, yeah. Last week we put out two patches. So this was the Wednesday patch um this was the wednesday patch right september 15th yeah and then we have another one which is going to be number six on the 17th i was really surprised i could uh i could the game already play in dutch most games you never play in dutch um yeah well hey if you notice any like translation errors or anything like that don't hesitate to let us know we will try to fix it as soon as possible okay um yeah, so let's see what was in this one. Uh, some gameplay UI changes, uh, loose wagon quantities on stations do not persist after loading save data. Yeah, that's what we we're talking about. In the tutorial, it is possible to block the object if you uh, crash the train into the service center. Uh, yeah, I did that several times, crashing the object. Love the game. Oh, thank you. We love you too. We love you for loving the game. Uh, level design incorrectly placed blocking signal in the cologne grain mill yeah this seems uh, this is like a recurring thing i know that there's a lot of people that are having trouble with um well not really trouble but i mean it, it breaks the immersion right it breaks the immersion um when you're playing the game and all of a sudden you see like a freaking light pole in the middle of the track right like it doesn't make any sense uh, yeah, and if we do ever implement a VR version, we don't want you to get smacked in the face with a freaking light pole or a pedestrian, okay? So yeah, uh, all those things off the tracks uh, will be uh, gradually um, removed and fixed, so. Uh, let's see, level art service center interior is overly bright on low graphics, making the menu contents unreadable, wow. I don't play my games on low settings. PC Master Race, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so I never encountered that issue. Uh, right, so let's see some known issues. Uh, manual delivery for contracts. Delivery does not count for city progression. That That's a doozy. That's definitely a doozy. Uh, a crossing loop or junction may remain blocked after AI train leaves it. It is possible to become blocked after manual cargo delivery due to delivery zone positioning on a dead track. AI train warning or penalty for occupied track may be issued with no AI train in sight. Yeah, this was a thing. Uh, this was one of the main reasons why um, why we disabled the AI trains. Because, like, I mean, they were, you know, we, like, we were getting reports. Uh, like, people on Discord were talking about, like, they were passing up an AI train. And then the AI train just followed them in into the, uh, into the station, right? And it just, like, gave them a bunch of errors and... Bleh. For now, they're disabled, but we will uh, be bringing them back soon. So, uh, let's see. Frame rate drops observed in multiple tablet windows. 
Okay. Users unable to enter a service center after loading save created with exiting. Time calculations for multi-stop passenger post uh, postage deliveries do not take into account actual route created. Yeah, we do we do realize that there's a lot of people um, that were having trouble with just generally like the routing. They were having trouble like I know that that this came up a lot uh, in in the community discussion where people didn't know the difference between um, the tablet that you have inside the cabin of the train and the actual map so the actual world map and the route planner so that's something uh, that we will definitely clarify in the future uh, just so people don't get confused because I can definitely understand how that could be confusing as well uh, so let's so let's look at the most recent one that was implemented on Friday and uh, so this is patch number six and let's see added removed they added or removed <laughs> uh, removed unnecessary repeated error logs difficulty settings disabled non-city service centers cargo mode fine multiplier passenger postage mode fine multiplier okay uh delivered and processed goods and the processing points are not retained after loading save data loose wagon quantities on stations do not persist after loading save data another tutorial another tutorial change that's good or a fix if i do say so myself so uh, in tutorial two it is possible to block the object uh, two if you crash the train into the service center yeah so this was fixed in the last one it was object one i think uh some more level design changes um i like like i said i think that this l means location like l underscore but i'm not sure i would probably have to check with the programmers and the and the uh, level designers there for sure uh, let's see another a service center interior is overly bright and low settings then anyone ever encounter that issue playing the game like does anyone play train life on um on low settings at all uh that's, that, that's weird that's that, that's weird um nakon's logo in the pre-game splash screen is not correct oh geez you guys didn't see that one nakon they, they're, they're in the chat right now so that you know it's all good boys it's all good uh, thank you for the follow, Renjix. Appreciate you, bro. Th thank you, thank you, thank you. I think Renjix, he won uh, Train Life. Uh, he won Train Life for me the first time we did a stream. What up, Renjix? How you doing? Thank you for the follow, Sol Negas. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so as you can see, uh there is a plethora of issues that are still going to be worked on i mean the list just goes on and on and on but it's good it's good guys uh it's good in the sense that um you know we're working on it right you know and it's thanks to you guys that we can make the game better and when early access ends and the full game comes out we'll be able to give you guys a fully final finished product um can't wait for the stutter fixes yeah i know ropes if you don't mind me asking what system are you playing the game on like what are your specs because i'm playing i'm playing it on a 3070 ti six core processor 64 gigs of ram i don't know why i need that much ram but i have it anyway um and i am also getting stutters and i wonder if it's um i wonder if getting stutters is a hardware thing like if you have a lower end hardware or if you have higher end hardware does it, it obviously it doesn't make a difference right because i have a freaking 3070 but i still get the stutters uh every now and again so uh yeah that's definitely a immersion breaking uh effect right there so we want to um get that approved and changed as quickly as possible um so yeah guys uh like i mentioned i wasn't gonna go through all of the patch notes because like i said i'd be sitting here reading for like years rtx 3080 and a 5600 x and you're still getting stutters uh will will there be official db trains i'm gonna have to get back on to uh with you on that mr pro gamer i believe one of the devs said it's first time shader compiling issues most likely okay okay so yeah i mean um maybe uh maybe once the system like gets more uh I was gonna say elaborated maybe once it learns it'll stop the stuttering right uh with the compiling um, it might be i mean i don't know it could be you know it could be a, a variety of different things why people are getting stutters i guess stutters when the view distance was on low and everything was popping in 
well that might be uh just like maybe high polygon counts on on the um on the scenery just loading in um so maybe there's there's some optimization that might be needed um that might be needed to be done there so uh so yeah all right guys so those are the patch notes i sent you guys the link uh, right there wow that took me 35 minutes to talk about those patch notes geez imagine if i read all of it um so yeah oh yeah another thing i want to talk about um some of the plans that we have for the discord channel um you can type in you can get the link for our discord channel by typing in exclamation discord and exclamation twitter uh to get the link and it's not working god damn it i don't know why <laughs> next time next time okay <laughs> um but yeah uh so we have some things planned for the discord to help newcomers because we want to help the newcomers because there's a lot of the same questions um being asked and being answered by uh me or joey or someone else um and we want to sort of mitigate that to give people the knowledge that when they enter the discord uh we want to have them uh yeah trainsman knows by the way guys uh big pog in the chat for trainsman he recently became a moderator on the discord channel because he's super helpful uh he does a lot of work a lot of amazing work for the community and um yeah man trainsman uh thank you so much dude um i did call you trains manook <laughs> <laughs> i called you trains manook the first time i met you on the stream uh so yeah now i know it's trains man <laughs> but that capitalization of the uk really helped a bit so uh so yeah as i mentioned um we're gonna be doing uh we're gonna be hopefully maybe this week we will be adding a uh faq to the discord and i also wanted to show you guys something this was also made by trains man you change it just for me oh you're so nice you're so kind and they say gamers are mean um there's also one more thing that i want to show you guys this was made by trains man all right trains man you literally deserve like i don't know man you need like you deserve something amazing but trains man uk he made a beginner's informational guide for beginners about information on the game where the trains what the trains do where they are some more statistical things like the engine type and and everything else so so trains man uh dude you're awesome and really guys check it out right now it's not public this beginner's guide is not public yet uh trains man i think has to wait for some uh authorizations from uh from steam to make sure that it's not like there's no like nsfw stuff or something or like uh, threatening links or something like that but uh but yeah dude trains man look at this there's a guide there's an index it tells you about everything signals engines uh keyboard commands as well this was something that i saw that people were requesting were the keyboard commands it's not even i don't think it's not even in the game yet and you guys have it right here boom there it is here let me make it bigger look at that that's amazing yeah dude so you did an amazing job man really and um yeah so we're going to combine this with um an faq we're gonna add this to the discord channel and we're gonna have everyone accept it read it and so everyone is has the knowledge for train life a railway simulator okay uh so yeah once again man trains man you're you're a boss you're a boss and this will become available soon i think in 24 hours you mentioned right uh steam will confirm it right 24 hours or, or something like that so uh so yeah guys join our discord channel uh make sure uh to do that to stay up to date on the latest and greatest from the best game developers ever okay uh I'm just, I'm just gonna send you guys the link it's live now oh that's awesome um it would probably help to have a known issue yes we are going to have something like known issues 
um, in the FAQ so, so people are aware of what is being worked on. Also, remember guys, we are working on making a public Trello so um, everyone can stay up to date on what's being changed, added live, okay? So I don't have any confirmed date, but a public Trello will be made. So uh, it's gonna be pretty freaking sick. Um, on that note, uh, we're gonna play the game. I'm gonna play the game a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna play some Train Life, a railway simulator. We're gonna go bug hunting, all right? We're gonna go bug hunting. We're gonna we're gonna try to find some crazy things. A Trello is a really great idea. The bus uses it too, and it's very useful. Yes, I know, and it'll be very useful for the community to like, you know, stay um stay informed, right? Okay. Are we in the game? We are in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's do display. Train life. There it is. Okay. You guys can see. Yes, you can. All right. So. It's going to edit a setting here. Okay. All right. You guys can see. You guys can see good. All right. Really like the menu screen. Yeah. Here, let me move my. Um, oh, I can't really move my. Uh my assets there but uh just played it for 70 hours trainsman already has 70 hours in train life you're insane you're insane and i love it all right so we're gonna so we're gonna start a new game here we're gonna start a new game um i made a few deliveries i made a few i made a few deliveries lately damn why is it so loud jesus i'll put on some background music all right Okay, where am I? Why am I here? Oh, okay. Thank you for the follow. Who's that? Kitsu! Kitsu, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, so um, let me... Ch do, uh, do I have anything right now? Fuel levels, uh, 97, 93%. The graphics are really beautiful. Yes, indeed. They're very pretty to look at. That is for sure uh let's see do i have any there we go okay i have no contracts right now so let's go see if we can pick something up uh okay uh where are we at we are berlin smeltery all right so let's let's see if we can pick something up here services let's do take uh let's do delivery refined iron let me get the iron oh no they don't have it they don't got the iron the iron my dinner is calling. Catch you later, railroaders. See you later, trains man. Enjoy your dinner. And as we say in Poland, smacz Uh Okay. Let's do... Let's go back. Let's go back again. Let's do warehouse. Or no, wait. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do smeltery again. I'm going to see if they if I can do a uh, contract. One contract. Berlin smeltery. Two wagons to Dresden. We're in it for the long one, boys. Take automatically. Proceed to station Berlin's military. Uh, there's no iron. Ironic. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, okay. Uh, so we're going to go back. To, I think I have to ask for... I have to ask for station access. Okay, Berlin's military. We're good. Okay. Okay, we are here. So I can just back it up, right? It's going to back it up. Here we go. I'm backing it up. Mm. Backing it up. Mm. Back it, back it, backing it up. Oh, I'm going too fast, though. All right, let's see. I'm going to use the handbrake. We're going to do Tokyo Drift here. Ask for, for permission. I already asked. I already asked for permission. I got it. Uh, okay. Okay. Huh, didn't, didn't I have here? Let me see. Burn smeltery services take contract. There we go. I got it. We got the wagons, boys and girls. Here we go. 
Look at those beautiful wagons of materials. Uh, all right. Now, all right, let me check. Where did I have to go? Dresden, right? Dresden Warehouse. Let me see. World. Where is Dresden? It's like somewhere. Oh, we're not that far, actually. Okay. Dresden Pump Jack? I'll pump your jack. All right, Dresden Warehouse. Sick. All right. And off we go. Here. I'm actually just going to turn off the music. How do you guys want it? Do you guys want background music or do you guys just want the in-game sounds? Uh, back side of the train view, please. Make reversing easier. Yeah, I will. I'll back it up. All right. Amazing. Let's do it. Okay. Am I the only one that uses the emergency brake to break in this game? Or do you guys do the same thing? <laughs> Switch the fog lights. Oh, my God. Okay, where? Uh, the fog lights are here. There it is. Got them. Got the fog lights. Got the fog lights. Man, you know, this game, it really makes it seem uh, that being a train conductor is sort of easy, doesn't it? But I can imagine that it's not easy. I mean, dude, imagine if you crashed this thing. I don't know how the hell, I don't know how many tons this thing, this train weighs. I don't know, 20 tons, like a freaking blue whale or something. But you must have your fog lights. I have them on. What do you mean I don't have my fog lights on, dude? I need to talk with Joey about that. What do you mean the fog light isn't on? Isn't this the fog light? That's the cabin headlights. Where do I have the fog light? Using handbrake all the time just causes money loss for Dan. I know, but you know, sometimes there's just things that you got to do. <laughs> like if you're going 70 miles an hour inside of a service station, like towards a service station, smack that e-brake tokyo drift style let's do it boys where's the fog light uh speeds gets half soon prepare for a very long trip good uh fog light symbol pointing straight ahead means they're on oh okay i thought okay so now they're on what the hell oh it has to be straight so these are not so this is not fog light but this is fog light ah uh, oh I see guys look this is a change that we have to make okay look this is a change that we have to make we have to make this symbol we have to make this symbol by the symbol like the same symbol to show that you have the fog lights on right icon is wrong good teamwork there it is I like it all right Yeah, Icon is wrong. I know that there was a lot of people having issues um, with the fog. I don't really recall what the issue exactly was, but maybe you guys know, was the fog like too thick or something like that? Like, was it much more difficult to see? Uh, I'm gonna request access Berlin Warehouse. Mm, yes. I actually like it very atmospheric yes indeed mine was gone i was still getting the fog warning oh really okay yeah, that's something we gotta check it out i like it thick <laughs> Renjix, what what did you think of the game because you won the game for me right are you are you like a, a simulation fan? Do you like simulation games or? I slow it down. Tokyo Drift a little bit. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, like in Krakow. <laughs> yeah, uh, but when you take a job and the fog fall, you are destined to get late because you wouldn't be able to make it due to have 
speed limit. Oh, really? Damn, why is it tell? Oh, no. Oh, we're going through a tunnel, boys. We're taking... I'm pumping the brakes, dude. Okay. I gotta back it up. Why did I go? The, I think I just wasn't paying attention, to be honest. I uh, love the weather. Any snow for the winter month? You know, that would make sense, right? If winter month is coming, if like winter months are coming and we added snow, that would make perfect sense for sure. Not a sim fan, but I'm enjoying the game. Yesterday I played from 11 to 4, 11 a.m. to 4 a.m. Seriously? So you played the game for like a lot of hours, <laughs> right? <laughs> Pog, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, 11 a.m. to 4 a.m. Dude, you played the game for like 24 hours at that point. All right, here we go. Put the put the thing up. There we go. Man, I man the old uh, guys like literally the older I get, the less I, games I play. You got hooked up. Okay, okay, that's good. That means the game is working, right? But um, man, the older I get, like the less. It's like, do you guys ever have that feeling where? You're like, you buy a new game, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna play this game for 24 hours straight. And then you actually go to play the game and in like two hours you're going to bed, you know? Like, uh, just like, I'm gonna play this game forever. And then it's just like, doesn't happen. You've got a young kid now? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I mean, I, the only time that I play video games is when she's asleep. It's the only time um because otherwise i don't it's impossible like right now my daughter oh she's sick well she was sick she's going she, she, she's going back to preschool now but um yeah responsibilities um she's going back to preschool now damn dude why am i going so fast Yeah, and like the only time that I play video games is like at night. So I'm 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 usually a, like a night owl, you know. Like I um I she goes to bed at like I don't know like eight or nine, and then I just play until like two in the morning sometimes because it's the only time that I have. Sometimes I don't even play games at night. Most of the time I do, but sometimes I don't. I just want to go to bed. Old, it's old bones. All right. Lower your speed, Jesus! This is gonna take forever. Yeah, my. Dr Wait, wrong track. Wrong track. Wrong track. All right. How do you guys like to play this game? Do you guys like to use the keyboard uh, for the hotkeys, or do you uh, go inside the cabin and um, and press the buttons that you need to press manually? Keyboard. Yeah, keyboard is the way to go, I think. Inside? Manual? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't know if I was... I mean, I'll try it. I'll try it. Yeah, real simulation. No, you know what the, the best simulation would be? You know what the best simulation would be? Is if you had, like, the actual control panel thingy. Like a, like a controller that you could turn the knobs and the levers and stuff like that. Like, that would be pretty cool. All right, we're going too fast. 25 is too fast. I program bananas for separate controls and just press the bananas. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I like the front of the train camera, so I use keyboard. Okay. It's like Street Fighter Arcade. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Man, we're going at a turtle at breakneck speeds, ladies and gentlemen. Breakneck speeds, all right. Two hundred 
too much trouble to look for all those inside controls. Uh, maybe after you learn the game real well and are more comfortable with it. Yeah, I mean, it's really, I mean, if you look at the grand scheme of things, I really don't think it's that much. Because, like, look, you have the tablet view here, right? You have the tablet view. Uh, the, here you have the power reverse, so, so, so I think that's pretty much to go backward. So let's lower our speed. Okay, that, that's the brake, right? It's the brake. All right, we're going to turn the brake off. Crank up the power. All right. Uh, slow down, will you? I can't go. I literally can't go any slower than this. <laughs> literally cannot. Um, one of the features that will make this great is to press a button and fix the camera, then use the mouse freely without turning the camera. Good idea. More power. Give me the power. We're at 100% speed right now. There's my coffee that no, I'm not drinking. But I like that you have uh, all of the info on the train display. You could easily turn off the UI in train. Lower my speed? What do you mean? Okay. Going too fast, apparently. Uh, you could easily turn off the UI in train. Yeah, you could. I think... I don't know if there's an option to turn the UI off right now. But I think that would be a cool addition to, like, you know, um, immerse the player even more. You need a train sim controller like the steering wheel and pedals you can get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, that's the coffee cup from Game of Thrones 8th season set. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's just been there. It has not moved at all. Has not moved at all. Dude, my train. Am I going down a hill right now? I'm going down a hill because I am not losing any speed. Oh, because we are we are at a decline zone. Okay, we are we are at a decline zone right now. Oh God! Oh, did I not did I not call in the station? I have to call in Berlin, Maine. Okay, Berlin, Maine. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and more weight of the cars pushing you downhill. Yeah, for sure. Bam bam. I gotta turn it down a little bit. Uh, shout out to Joey for his great work. If you are here, Joey, my sincere greetings from Moroccan train lover that his grandfather was a pioneer that placed rails on Moroccan rails route. Really? That is amazing. Wow. Man, that's 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 a really great achievement to be the pioneer of like setting down railroad tracks. That's that's insane. All right, we're pulling up to Berlin, Maine. I wanted to ask you guys, do you know what the difference between cinematic and epic is? Because I'm, I'm going to put it on cinematic. I don't think it really... Oh, yeah, I could definitely... Oh, yeah, no, never mind. I could definitely see the uh, the drops of frames. Yeah, I think it's... I think, like, something has turned on. I'm not really sure. It eats from your graphics card? Yeah, I see that. I mean, it still looks nice. I mean, I could imagine that my graphics card right now is like begging for mercy, maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I mean, it's a 3070 Ti, so I mean, it's pretty good. But like I wonder I wonder if it turned on like get the get the marshmallows. Yeah, right? I should like cook a sausage or something on my graphics card right now.
yeah i mean <laughs> marshmallow, marshmallows um but uh the the fog is amazing yeah i mean the fog looks really good it really adds like m some atmosphere to the game and uh, i could imagine that it's sort of taxing here i'm, I'm gonna see something okay i'm gonna turn on tax a task manager and let's see what the performance is like okay uh i gotta switch okay all right okay so uh okay right so okay here's my here, let me turn it down a little bit game's gonna yell at me okay so damn the gpu right now i'm on cinematic settings and we are at 70 degrees 86 percent so it's not completely bricked right now it's not completely bricked i'm gonna speed up a little bit um using 14 okay cpu is doing pretty good though what are we boosting up yeah we're boosting up to four gigahertz using about 14 gigs of ram but i do have you know i have like obs in the background i have like a bunch of other stuff so uh let me see yeah i mean the the gpu is doing work though but 70 degrees celsius that, that's a good that's a good um that's a good temperature to have oh look the fog is over the fog is over ladies and gentlemen Seventy degrees on most games, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think like seventy degrees Celsius is a decent, um, decent temperature to have, especially if you're not water cooling your graphics card. You know, if you're just like feeding it air. What about rain and snow? Can't wait for uh, other weather effects. Yeah, I mean, I think that we're we might add them in the future. Like, I I, I don't see why we wouldn't add further weather effects but like it's not confirmed right but it would definitely make sense oh i can turn off my lights to go faster yes turn them off boom switch to fog lights the fog is off though All right, we're gonna go fast. Deja vu, 100%. Ah, yeah, yeah, that that, that makes sense. That that's something that um, I'm gonna have to report. Maybe if one of the devs is watching, then they already know. They they wrote it down. Last time I played the game, the rain was there. Maybe it's very hard to get it on randomizer. I'm not sure. I've never, I've, I've never personally played a rain when I played uh, this, uh, the public version of this game. So, I reported this issue on the bug report. Okay. You, oh, so it's already reported. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Cool. So if you reported it, then that, then that's good. That is fantastic. Yeah, 65%. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, man, we got to we got to speed this up, man. We're going to be here forever. Look at these people all they're all going to work. Bug reported so interact people demand rain. Hey, I'm I'm going to try to make it happen, boys. We're trying to make it happen. I got to bug Joey about it. Give them rain. <laughs> Give them rain. I have an idea in mind. If you guys could, uh, one of the developers or audio engineer or sound effect creator record a full traveling. I'll thank you for the follow old para. I appreciate you. Uh, record a full traveling on train and you guys try to simulate it in the game. This will add immersion. Wait, so you mean like, you mean like go into an actual train, record 
the sounds of the train and then put it in the game is 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 that the move right there is that the move i'm gonna have to talk with the sound guy <laughs> what did that say keep learning oh what does that one say oh nothing Dude, I, we should add some Easter eggs for you guys to find or something. I don't know how, how like, how much of a thing that is. Probably on an extremely low priority uh, list, but um, <laughs> putting some Easter egg, like, I don't know, put the Simteract logo in on a building or something. Sound guy is here, Mike. Oh, sound guy is here. Yeah, record a train. I need you to go on an actual train record your entire trip and add it into the game okay it'll count as work all right you'll get paid for it probably so you got it <laughs> how long of a trip you know to, to whatever your heart's desire is <laughs> the end of russia yeah i mean you gotta you gotta immerse the player sound is a crucial aspect of any simulation game right or of any video game right it adds the the punch to the game per se animal on the track oh no where's the horn Okay. Dude. All right, he better get off, dude. Where is this where is this animal? You know, one time I I I legit one time saw the deer move off the track. And other times he just stood there and awaited its his fate. So Hopefully this one's smart enough. 120? Guys, strap in your seatbelts, everybody. We're going in. We're st are you guys strapped up right now, dude? Let's go. We are flying. It was destroyed by the horn? Yeah. Here we go. Am I coming up to anything? Uh, Berlin Farm. Okay, let me just... Uh, station access. Yes. Okay. It always waits until five minutes after the mission, then the deer... Oh, there he is! There's the deer! There he is! There he is! Look at him! He's inside of the tracks! <laughs> oh, no. Okay. We're flying now, ladies and gentlemen. We are going in. And as soon as you get to 120, you get that next speed reduced to 100. Yeah, I know. That does happen. Yeah, 80. Okay. It's still 120. Oh, no, it's 80. No. No, it's still 120. If you spam the horn, the deer freaks out. <laughs> In real life, in real life, if you check train statistics, you'll notice most accidents happen because of animals trespassing. Dude, they should take those animals to jail for trespassing. Okay. Well, I mean, who do those animals think they are trespassing on private property? Psh. Unreal. Look at that pretty scenery, though. It looks so good. Wow. Wow. Can't wait for a bird to smack. Dude, <laughs> that would be so funny. That would be hilarious. Imagine the jump scare that you would have if you have the entire game, like the volume, like turned up, right? You have the volume turned up. You're like super immersed into the game. And then all of a sudden you're just like, a bird just smacks into the windshield. <laughs> I would probably laugh my pants off for sure. 
Uh, need a big cow catcher on front. Yeah. Yeah. Like a ramp, like a ramming thing. Bridges. Very nice. Oh, there was a tree stump. Oh, look at that. We're going 121. We have reached our maximum altitude, everybody. <laughs> you guys better hold on because this is going to be a hell of a ride. All right. And we're going down a decline. We're going to reach 130. What's next? Uh, next. Oh, we're almost there. Look at that, guys. Okay. Man, we are flying. I love it. Okay. That, that, that. We're going. How long until the job is expired? Uh, let's see. We have seven hours in the game, so we're good. We are good. Oh, there's the stuttering. There's the there's the micro stutters. There it is. You guys see that a little bit? Man, we are flying. I got the perfect song for this. Hold on. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> that was fun though. Uh, okay. <laughs> Gas. Oh yeah, that one. I gotta put that one on. Let me see. Gas, gas, gas. I got it, right? Hold on. Gas, gas, gas. I don't know. Is that one also by initial D? In before in before uh dmca right <laughs> we'll stop okay we're almost there guys we're almost there oh that is some nice view and scenery right there ladies and gents i like it a lot you prefer thanos the tank engine <laughs> oh god imagine if we made a train model that was like modeled after the the thanos glove right that would be insane. I keep hitting the M key to look at your map. Oh, because <laughs> you're because you're following along, right? <laughs> That's funny. I know. Oh, they didn't add. I mean, we should we should definitely add this into the game where you open the map with M and then you also toggle the map with M, right? So uh, that would make sense as well. Backseat driver, it's all good. No worries, my man. Okay. Alright, we're almost there, folks. We are almost there. Delivering the two wagons of iron. Oh, the fog is back, though. 
I just noticed, I just realized that the fog is back. Let me put on my headlights or my fog lights. There it is. And my speed limit is still 100, though. No, now it's not. Now it's not. All right. 120. We're go we're we're going back into hyperspeed, boys. We're going back into high into hyperspeed. Here we go. Gas, gas, gas. Not for long. I'm gonna do the drift, okay? I'm gonna do the drift. Oh no. Damn it! Matt, why'd you have to jinx it? I was excited. All right, now we're going into hyperspeed. All right, guys, here we go. Thank you for the follow, head tester. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, bro. Head tester following. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, the inset map needs a zoom feature. Yeah, that would be all. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, so you could zoom in the minimap in and out. That would be cool. You know, I'm actually going to turn off cinematic because this is just... This is just crazy, man. All right. What's up, head tester? How you doing, man? Gas, gas, gas. Gotta go fast. I'm pressing the gas. All right. Oh, 45, what? Jesus. What is this? Are you a dev? I am the community manager for the dev. I am at your service, head tester. Jesus. From 120 to 45. That gave me a heart attack, man. All right, Dresden Warehouse. We're almost there. Lower my speed even more? Jesus. Okay. Okay. And now it's going back to 100. Oh, yeah. I got a radio win. That's right. Uh, Dresden Warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, station access. Yes. Okay. We're in. Boys. <laughs> We're in. Okay. Man, I was having so much fun going 120. Now I have to go 50. Jesus. Here, let's uh, pump our brakes a little bit. Man, I'm so bad at delivering cargo. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I always go on the wrong track or something. But maybe that's just a me issue, you know? Okay. Perfect weather for some jump scares. Imagine if Slenderman just came out right now. Like from the woods, like from the forest. What if we had oh my, that would be so funny if if we put, if we implemented a Halloween patch and instead of deer, we added Slenderman on the tracks dude that would be insane wouldn't it oh my god <laughs> dude that would be crazy i gotta talk with joey about that one <laughs> the headless horseman or a deer that can stop my heart yeah dude that would be insane that would be insane Oh, really? Are we? Uh, Draco, do, do you know if we're going to add any Halloween stuff? Or, or I don't know. Do you, do you have any, any uh, information? Jumping near a uh, deer needs work. That, that would be so. Uh, I don't have any. Okay, no. Okay, no worries. No worries. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, just like some general information for you guys. Like right now, 
we are uh just like the main focus right now is just to gather community feedback and to uh just fix all the bugs and annoying glitches that people are having with um with with just like general gameplay right and um i think after after we we um excuse me after we finish ironing out those details then uh then we will definitely implement some more fun stuff for like holidays and stuff like that uh maybe a ghost train yeah first we have to fix normal ai yeah i mean we gotta start at the basics we gotta start at the basics uh, we gotta fix oh animal we gotta start at the basics we have to fix the um ai trains uh that will be coming back into this into the game soon because right now as you guys can see they are, they are disabled so uh all right little secret joy was a huge thomas fan as a child <laughs> hey there's nothing wrong with that okay thomas is awesome my daughter likes uh my daughter likes uh thomas too Uh, mass potential you only need to press the horn when you see the deer oh oh so i don't i don't need to spam it <laughs> like <laughs> as soon as i get the message i just want to you know just blow the deer's brains off <laughs> all right well, are we almost there we're almost there guys we're almost there they always drop an animal on the track to distract you from a speed reduction or switch to miss yeah, it's 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 the old bait and switch, you know. But this does seem spooky, doesn't it? It's like we're are we there yet? Are we there? Yeah. Uh, oh, there! Oh shit! Look, dude, literal inches. It it literally by the skin of its teeth ran away. <laughs> Bambi lives another day, ladies and gentlemen. Bambi gets to live another day. And in the Animal Crossing zone. Man, that was a close one. What happens if you hit it? Uh, you get a fine. It's 500 euro. You get a fine. <laughs> I think the more animals you hit, the more fines you get. So, But right now, I think there's only deer. So... If you hit it, there's a deer destruction. <laughs> oh my god. Just like <laughs> you get like a, a 50 times multiplier, right? Deer destruction. Like my voice just like comes to like <laughs> caress your ears. Deer destruction. Oh man. That is funny. 1,000 killed deer's achievement? Yeah. <laughs> and we would name that achievement the Master of Venison. <laughs> Venison Master, something like that. Do I still have tea? I do. Thank you for the follow, KMTV. Appreciate you, man. Or Deer Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're, we're, we're pulling in. We're pulling in. Okay? Let's see if I do this correctly. All right. I hope I do. Taken by the horns, yeah. I like the, the ambient noise in the cabin it's like so it's pretty relaxing left turn right turn yeah i mean i am prone to messing the, up the simplest of things so uh open okay no we're not gonna do any of that we don't want to decouple yet 65 percent damage 15k in repairs nah i'll make it back by this delivery it's fine oh my god 25 Okay. Oh God, we're gonna be here forever. <laughs> we're gonna be here forever, guys. Maybe I should not. 
Maybe now I should put on gas, gas, gas. Gas, gas, gas. I wanna go fast. Hit the gas. <laughs> oh, 40? Dude, I swear to God, this game is trolling me, dude. I swear to God. It's trolling my butt off. All right. Okay, okay. Wait, we'll hey, I have a beautiful singing voice, okay? Even though my throat hurts. It's it's honey. It's it's it, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to stop talking cuz I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. How to make a nice deer suit in two easy steps. Run over all the trains in train life. Did I ask for permission? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're waiting. Gas, gas, gas. We gotta go fast. All right. right? Please, God. Oh, there's the tracks. Hopefully, I don't miss it. Hopefully I don't miss the tracks, dude. Okay. Okay, we're good. We did it. Oh my God, I did that flawlessly. I did it flawlessly, guys. Unbelievable. Okay, we can we can e break it. There it is. Nice. Okay. You Initial coupling. Oh wait. Okay, maybe I maybe I have to go forward a little bit because they're not all the Okay. Okay. All right. Now I decouple. Decouple. Did I do it? I did it. Oh, I, oh, right. I gotta do auto deliver. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll just do auto deliver. Hold on. Yeah, I forgot about that. What? <laughs> I was going like too much. <laughs> oh, I should have pressed. I should have pressed you. I should. I know. God damn, I'm such a noob. <laughs> Wait. Okay, no, we're here. Okay, we're here. I thought I had to restart the entire trip, dude. I was gonna poke my eyeballs out. Um, okay, so we have to go back a little bit. Uh, yeah, Dresden Warehouse. Okay. You ran into your own cunts. <laughs> that was disconnected. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go backwards. Okay. We're just gonna go backwards. You can drop the cargo. Oh, really? I, can I drop it here? Uh, uh, we're at warehouse. Deliver. I'm on a contract. Deliver automatically. I did it. I earned 60,000 euro. More than I will make in my lifetime. Okay. That's it. Uh, this is amusing to watch. Oh, it's amusing to me as well. Um, okay, guys. Uh, I think that'll be about it for, for me for today. <laughs> Wait, actually, before I end the stream, before I end the stream, I'm going to go and fix up. I'm going to see how much uh, in repairs I have. See what the profit, what the actual, what the actual profit is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to repair it. I'm going to repair it. In the meantime, I'll break it some more. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, 15K is my guess. Okay. 
Oh, that's not bad. 13,000? It's fine. You were close, though, Easy Rider. Uh, 10,000 for refueling. Man. Uh, let's see. Can I buy anything? No, I'm still too poor. Still too poor. Okay. All right. Can't afford... Wait. No, well, I just need to level up some more before I upgrade my train here. Uh, we're going to reverse the train. Back to the game. Saving content. There it is. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Guys, I really I really hope you guys enjoyed the stream just as much as I enjoyed streaming it for you. Uh, keep Remember, we're going to be streaming every Monday. Uh, who knows? We might even play some other games besides Train Life. We'll see. Uh, I'll for sure have other people on the stream from Simteract or, or from Nakon. Uh, maybe we'll have Ollie uh, show his beautiful French face uh, on the stream. And... Um, and yeah uh guys uh yeah once again thank you guys so so much for watching the stream and uh, yeah follow us on twitter twitter.com slash sim direct train life as well uh there's train life mute and yes there's there's train life and then show some love guys show some love for sim direct if you guys enjoyed the stream if you guys enjoyed the stream um Make sure to follow. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, everybody. Mikey Shines, SimTrack Community Manager, signing out. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.